Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you guys? How are you doing? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, guys, I was having trouble getting into the account, but I was finally able to get in. Okay, um, so how are you guys doing today? How, how is your, um, your, how was your week this week? Pretty good? Not so good? Good, good teacher. Good teacher. Okay, good, good, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, good. So guys, we're going to begin uh, by taking attendance. Um, so just give me one second. Good. Okay, wonderful. So let's begin. I have here, the first one is Anna Claudia. Anna Claudia, no, not here. Okay, Andres. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Edgar. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Elsie, Janet. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Um, Fabiola. Present teacher. All right. Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier. Okay. All right. Uh, Heidi. Present teacher. Wonderful. Irene. Irene. Not here, Irene? No? Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Josue. Josue? Not here either? No? Okay. Uh, Juan Francisco. Last one, teacher. Okay, welcome. Uh, Carla. Present teacher. Oh, wonderful. Uh, Melissa. Melissa? No? Okay. Um, Luis Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Good evening. Uh, Jesús. No? Okay. Um, Marvin, Marvin Alfredo. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Wendy. Wendy? Okay. Werner. Present teacher. Wonderful. Noemi? Present teacher. Wonderful. Yvonne? Present teacher. Good. Uh, Daniel. Daniel. Here, Daniel. Okay. Uh, Jorge. Jorge Alberto. Marlene. Ricardo. Ricardo. No. Okay. All right. So let me just repeat the. The people that I didn't hear, just to make sure that I didn't miss anybody. Ana Claudia? 
Francisco Javier. Present. Oh, okay, wonderful. Um, okay, uh, Irene. Irene. Uh, Josue. Present teacher. Oh, okay, wonderful. Um, Melissa. Present teacher. Oh, wonderful, okay. Manuel de Jesus. No, Manuel Jesus. Wendy. Wendy. Um, Daniel. Jorge. Marlene. Ricardo. Okay. All right. Wonderful. So we have everybody. Uh, well, we have almost everybody here. Okay. So guys, how was your, uh, your day today? We finished the week. How are you guys? How was your week? Pretty good. Not so good. How was it? Good, you teacher. Pretty good? Yes. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, okay, excellent. Um, well, guys, today what we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be talking about um, Unit 4 is the company procedures and policies. And we're going to be looking at that right now. So tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher. Yeah? I see, yeah. yes. Okay, wonderful. Okay. So let's take a look here. So we're looking at beginner module five, unit four, company procedures and policies. And today is Friday, May 7th, 2021. It's day 19 and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's begin. So first we're gonna be completing a permission form. Remember yesterday we were talking a little bit about permission forms, right? Uh, we, we talked about, you know, what are the procedures at your workplace, who you have to ask for the permission form, who signs it, uh, what kind of permissions you ask for, et cetera, et cetera. Well, today we're going to be we're going to be giving instructions on how to complete a permission form. So let's take a look over here. So we're going to have it says a colleague needs permission to be absent from work. So this is a role play. You're going to imagine this. Explain to him the procedures in your company. Okay, so you have to, okay, so imagine that one of your colleagues needs to get the permission and he's asking you, what, what, what do I do, right? I'm new at, at that work and I don't know what to do. What are the procedures? So you explain to him or to her. Help him or her fill in the form. Complete the permission form according to the steps your partner gives you. And in your book, in your book you should see a permission form like this, right? So we have your name, the date, the reasons, the manager signature, and the HR assistant signature. So I'm going to ask you guys, you're gonna work, you're gonna go ahead and work in um, groups, okay, small groups, and you're going to be explaining to your partner um, what are the procedures at your workplace? And you're gonna fill this out. Got it? Yes, no, maybe a little bit. Got it. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. So let's make our groups. Um, okay. okay a second.
It's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to open up the, um, the group. You're going to help each other out um, to, to fill out the form, explaining what are the procedures at your workplace. That's what's important. Okay, so um, let's see. Give you about 10 minutes, okay? So go ahead and join your groups. Uh, Wendy, are you having any problems? Wendy? Wendy, any problems? Joining your group? Hello, Wendy, can you hear me? Wendy, can you hear me? Wendy? Que ya no miro. Ay, no creía, me se me acaba de romper otra vez. El, se me acaba de quebrar la patita de lente otra vez. Ay, no le creo. Y viera que los he remendado ya como cuarta vez, quinta vez, creo ya. Y los Ay. otros no me los traigo porque los otros me gusta dejarlos en el trabajo. Por si uno olvida. Sí. Por si un momento Justamente. Se Ay, ya, Dios mío. Trabajar sin los lentes. Ay, sí. Sí es. Pero, pero el, el, los lentes son de Ay. <risa> Sí, dice, el detalle es de que, el detalle es de que este, el, el, yo uso los dos, yo uso los dos porque, vaya, por ejemplo, allá, si no los uso, es mentira, después ando la vista súper cansada. Igual acá, como vengo de estar allá viendo computadora, esto, lo otro. And we have to read the exercise exactly. and make sentence in every uh, homework. Exactly. Uh, Teacher, uh -huh. uh, we make just the exercise number five. Oh. Yeah, only exercise number five. Okay. Uh -huh. um, I después, uh, mañana le escribo. Eh, para, de, para ayudarle ahí con lo, lo de los lentes. Ah, oh, ok. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you. No se me okay. No se te va a caer ahorita, mi amor. Okay. Que tener where, where do you live, Carla? Uh, I live in Soyapango. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, 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 I can help you with that. Oh, okay. thank you, teacher. I'll be waiting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Well, in the meantime, you guys go ahead and practice. Okay, teacher. Okay. Dice que este a colega, me, me imagino que dice un colega, me imagino que es alguien del trabajo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Necesita un permiso, dice, para ausentarse del trabajo. So try not to translate so much. Try to do it in English. Okay. <laughs> The page 44. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. First, bring the request from that is a by a Bible on on the internet. This is. Mm -hmm. 
So we need a filling the permission form. That's all. Or fill. Train the request form, form that is available on the internet. I... Mm -hmm. Okay, eso es lo que vamos a hacer, Carlita. Uh -huh. Do you guys want to understand the instructions? No, no, es que no, no encuentro las instrucciones. Sí, so, las you have, ahí so uh -huh. all you have to do, all you have to do is explain, like, okay, so Noemi, you, you explain to Carla, and Carla, you explain to Noemi what are the procedures at your, at your workplace to complete um, to complete the form okay so imagine that you're that uh, for example goes um, Noemi you're gonna imagine that Carla is um, is a new worker okay and and, um, and Carla you're gonna imagine that Noemi is a new co-worker and you're gonna help each other out to fill you're gonna to fill out the forms okay and you have a new partner as well, okay? So Irene is coming here to, to also join you, okay? Okay. Okay. Are you sure you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. It's not problem. No problem. Uh, uh, Go. In, 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 uh, ¿Cómo te puedo decir? Eh, incluso eh, son managers don't need the permission for only it, um, only ask for the permission I am. Uh -huh, only mm -hmm. ask for the permission and if you have uh, uh, your your reports updated it's not problem <coughs> but it depends of the of the manager the manager mm -hmm. I understand that <laughs> okay. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. And the permission for is is very complicated. It's not like the permission for in the book. Uh, yeah, I I say this. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, um, name, date, 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 reason. Uh, you request uh, permissions uh, frequent frequently or not? In my case, not. Maybe one day in a month or two months. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you, Daniel? In my case, mm, mm, only um do you say cuando se necesita uh, but uh, when do you need como decirlo sí pero um, no solamente cuando se necesita pero en realidad es una emergencia um, when um, it's necessary very, it's uh -huh, it's okay um it's very necessary i go to the manager um, Hey, hello, boss. Uh, I have a problem or a little problem. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Oh, um, okay. The, <laughs> the special case in this, in this um, permission is a, es cuando como que no anda de humor. Is <laughs> yeah, is the, the dark side of the moon. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, um, él es como de, uh, uh, white. Uh, uh, okay. But white. Y es como que, ah. Uh, <laughs> finally. The five white. Ajá. Uh -huh, y es como de uno, uh, this, and this, and this, and this. Y, y él es como de, mm -hmm. The hours or the all day? Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. The all day, because that it's not 
difficult. It's not. It's not all the time. I, I think. It's a um, singularidad. Es nada más cuando anda así de cuando la luna está llena. <laughs> <laughs> you have to see the moon and then yeah. you think, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's the day yes, to request the a day. permission. <laughs> um, teacher, I have a question. Um, ¿Cómo se podría como explicar que en caso de no autorizar el permiso, eh, bueno, en, en caso especial, ¿verdad? Y lo que pasa en la empresa es que sin como que el, el manager no está mucho así como de, ah, no mucho quiere él dice ok páselo pero como vacaciones wow yeah sorry But, what, what was your question o sea cómo explicar como esa parte de como que cuando no está mucho de humor él dice como de, como ay no sé cómo decirlo como parecer un poco más diplomático. Él dice como que uh, no quiero darle el permiso, pero páselo como vacaciones. Ajá, so, no es un permiso. Ajá, it's, a, it's different, ¿no? Uh, porque no, no lo pasa justamente como permiso, sino que como un descuento, pero no de planilla, sino que un descuento de días de vacaciones. Ajá. So you want, you want to know how you can say that, that it's a, like a... It would be like an un, like a um, like an unpaid. Oh no no no! Because it would be like vacation, right? It was, so it's still being paid. Mm -hmm. you're, still, you're still being paid, but yeah. So they discounted from your vacation days. Yeah yeah. And la ley dice que o sea al año sus vacaciones de 15 días, etc. etc. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Como de, ah, ok, páselo con vacaciones y es como de, ok, one day for my vacation um, en el periodo X. Uh, But it, it depends of the type of permission or it depends only uh, of, the, of the mood of your, of your boss. Yes, uh, depend for the, the mood or the... Um, como la saturación quizás del trabajo. Um, it's the same, but... Mm, so if it's, if it's very busy, then he will, he will say, you know, like, it will be like a vacation. But if, if it's not very busy, then he will be okay with it? Ajá, uh -huh. it's okay. Oh. It, it, una opción, but no, no okay. siempre es así, uh -huh. pero it's, uh, es como de... Uh, Está bien, pero estamos un poco ocupados. Eh, páselo como vacación, como de no aflojar la cuerda totalmente. Uh, ok, ok. Así como con el látigo atrás, así de. Uh -huh. So he's been a good person, but not so good at the same time. Uh, sorry, I, I can. He's, he's been a good person, but not so good person at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. so, well, it happens. But he, at least at least he gives you the, you know, the at the end he gives you the vacation, right? Or sorry, the, the permission. Because some people say absolutely not, right? Don't uh -huh. you know and you don't have permission for anything. So in my case, uh, yes, teacher, for example. If my medical appointment is in prime by doctor, I can go in the, in the weekdays. I have to go on weekend. Mm, okay. Right. If my medical appointment is in, in the east, yes, I can, I can go to my, my medical appointment, but uh, the medical appointment is in private. I can, mm -mm. I have to go in. You I can hear you. You said medical appointment? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. I heard something else. I heard no appointment. And no I medical. <laughs> okay, me medical. Okay, got it. Sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. But uh, say say you in a document seal or stamp. Sorry. 
sorry, could you repeat the question? Para decir sello, digamos, cuando se sella un documento. For example, para... in, in Punto Seguro, when you have to uh, give the permission for, and they have to put, uh, no, I don't know, it's still, el sello. Seal. 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 Oh. And stamp. Stamp is, um, no es stamp. Es la acción. Es una estampilla eh, like for like a like a, a letter, right? That's uh -huh. a, a stamp. But you can also stamp, right? Um, you can stamp with a seal. Oh. Uh, stamp is the action. Yes, but but it's also possible to say seal to seal, yeah. to seal a, okay. but um, to seal a document, for example, you can uh -huh. seal a document. That's also uh -huh. possible, but. Um, yeah, you can stamp a seal. Mm, oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, stamp. Yeah, stamp a seal. Okay. And, and have to say, how, how do you say poner la hora? Place the date. Como? Place. Place the date. Place the date. Okay. Place the date. Well, but it depends. It depends on what, 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 what. What kind of documents? Mm, for example, permission for? Um, en, en punto seguro ponen la hora y ponen el sello. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hora de entrada y, bueno, no, hora de salida más que todo. Hora de entrada y hora de salida. Uh -huh. Ajá, ponen las dos cosas. Uh -huh. um, yeah, to write the date. Write the date. Yeah, write the date. Okay. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the main room, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Wendy. Wendy? Hello, teacher. Okay, good. I was wondering if you were there. Teacher, si, enci si enciendo la cámara se me apaga el micrófono, si enciende el micrófono se me apaga la cámara, no sé oh, qué pasa con no. eso. I'm sorry to hear that. Sí, no, no sé. Aquí estoy arreglando, me conectaron el wifi a ver qué pasa con eso. Mm, okay. That's too bad. Um, Okay, just give me a second. Okay, all right, so I hope everybody had the opportunity of uh, talking to your partners, explaining the process, and doing the completing the, the form. Everybody had that opportunity? Yes? Yes, teacher. Uh, yes. Do you have any questions about vocabulary? Teacher, how, how would you say licencia remunerada and licencia no remunerada? How would you say that? Uh, a, a paid... Um, when you say licencia, you're talking about... Um, you're, you're talking about like a permission, right? A permission. Right? Okay. Right. So, um, so you can say like a... Um, a, a paid um, day off, a paid day off, or an unpaid day off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, anything else? Any other questions that you guys have? And uh, incapacidad, okay, uh, or I think uh, seguro. That's a sickly. Uh, sickly. And when is disability means? Disability is when you are not able to work yes. at all because the doctor considers that you don't, you cannot work. Um, but we're not, we're not talking about just because you're sick. It's because literally, like um, you. Like there's um, 
Oh, how should I explain? Okay. Um, like you injured yourself, okay? And you're, you're, the doctor says, uh, for example, you can't walk, okay? You can't walk. So the doctor says, okay, you have a disability. You will no, not be able to work for a very long period of time because you can't walk. Right, that's a disability, right? Um, and normally disabilities are either permanent or for a very long time. Okay, does that make sense? Teacher, yes. Sure. Um, the layoffs or layoffs are layoff. Layoffs, layoff. Okay. Layoff. A lay. Or no. Sorry. Is. Son similares o, o son diferentes? No, no. Uh, layoff is when, okay. Uh, okay, so we have sick leave and disability are both given by a doctor, okay? The doctor is the one that's gonna give you a sick leave or a disability. Sick leaves are when you cannot work for a few days. Okay, or a few, or maybe even a few weeks, right? So um, you have a terrible um, flu. You go to the doctor and the doctor says, okay, stay home for three days. You have a sick leave. Um, or maybe you had an operation, you have a sick leave, okay? That's a permission. It's a permission from the doctor that says, okay, you cannot work for a period of time. And then after a period of time, you can come back. A disability is when the doctor says, okay, you are in no condition to be able to do your work at all. Um, so you are probably going to have like months off. Maybe you have, they have to take you to physical therapy um, to be able to get better, right? Or maybe they say you cannot work at all. Okay, and then we have what well, we have a layoff, which is something that only your company gives you. And the companies, sometimes they give a layoff is saying, okay, you have to, you cannot work in this company anymore, not because you're a bad employer, um, but because, sorry, not because you're a bad employee, not because you're a bad worker, but because one, we don't have enough work for you, or two, we don't have enough money to pay you, okay? Like, like in this pandemic, many people lost their jobs. That's, and they got, and they said, okay, and the job said, bye-bye, we're sorry, we cannot pay you anymore. And that's, that would be, um, a, what's it called, a, a layoff, okay? Does that make sense? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Andres, you had a question? Yes, teacher. Can you please write the word sickly? Oh, sickly. Yeah, sure. I can write it down. Give me a second. Sickly. So you can have a sickly, or in the case of women, when they have their babies, um, they have for maternity leave. Maternity leave. Maternity leave. Okay. okay. Uh, do you guys have any other questions? And I'll write the word layoff here as well. Layoff, like I said. Un, un despido, layoff. Un despido, pero un despido no porque es un mal trabajador. Sino porque hay poca producción en la empresa y hace un pequeño recorte. Es como, es como un recorte. Como un recorte. Pero temporal. Um, puede ser. It could be a, a temporary layoff, but sometimes it's a permanent layoff. Right? Sometimes it's permanent. They simply... Um, you know, they, they do not, they don't have enough money to pay everybody. 
right? Maybe, and, and to avoid bankruptcy. You understand bankruptcy? Yes, teacher. Oh, teacher. Okay, I'm going to- Bankarota? Bankarota. Exactly. Bankarota. So bankruptcy, um, to, uh, to avoid bankruptcy. So to avoid bankruptcy, um, they may decide to um, they may decide to you know have um, to lay off many personnel, and that that will probably be permanent, right? Until they recover, and that may be years until they recover. Right. So layoff is not always temporary. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, and then there is the when they say, "Okay, bye. You don't work here because you're a bad worker," and that's that's fought to fire. To fire. That's what it means. To when you, you fire it. To fire someone means uh, to say that they do not work there anymore because they are a bad employee. Okay. Anything else, guys? Anything you want to ask? Any other vocabulary? No? Not anymore. Okay. okay. Good. Let's move on then. Um, Okay, please tell me when you can see this. Yes? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Um, so, okay, so here we have, we have, we're gonna start with our conversation, which is first question. What happens if an employee in your company shows up late? Second question, what do you do when you are sick and can't work? So I want you to, I'm gonna get you guys to go back to your groups and discuss those two questions. What happens if an employee in your company shows up late? You understand shows up late, right? No, teacher. Uh, it means that uh, they arrive to work late. Okay. Okay. So what happens when somebody arrives at work late? And what do you do when you are sick and can't work? Okay. So using the vocabulary that we talked about, I want you guys to go, we're going to go back to the same breakout rooms and I'm going to ask you guys to discuss those questions in groups, in your groups, okay? So let's open up again the groups. Uh, Manuel Alejandro and Wendy, can you guys hear me? Wendy? 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 Can you hear me? No? Wendy? Show of play. Uh, si es una vez. Uh, o sería si es una vez. Once a, once a, only. Once a time, but only. Uh, on, is this once a time? Get away. 
Just once. Teacher, uh, uh, one question. Uh, Séptimo. ¿Cómo se dice? Seventy. No, seventh. Se Seven. ¿Qué se perdón? Le escuché cortado. Seventh. Seven. Escuchen, no. Eh, le escuché algo cortado, no, no. Seventh. Seventeen. Uh, se escucha mucho ruido, teacher. Seventh. Seventh. Yes, seven. Seven. Yes, seven. Okay. Okay. Hoy, hoy sí me escuchan bien o, o todavía sí, no? Sí, sí, hoy sí, sí. Seven. seven. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. In my company, uh, I the employee show late. So show. Show a blade, uh, if it's just one, one time, uh, no, I really no, no, no problem. But this is constant. To, uh, pasa muchas veces, teacher. What, what do you say? It happens many times. Is it happy many times? Okay, yeah, thanks. the supervisor or the manager uh, to uh, talk to or talk with the person or the employee in this case in uh, the, the field, the action personal uh, in this case, the field, the field, the the for the actional personal, in the employees, se compromete, teacher. They commit. The employees they commit to. They commit. The employees the, commit. The employees commit to don't uh, don't not, do it. don't to not to, to not. not. Ah, okay. The employee uh, commit to not again. To not what? Se compromete a no qué? A no hacerlo de nuevo. A llegar temprano. A cumplir con el horario. Eh, entonces, ya. Yeah. English, English. Yeah. I try, I try. Ah. The employees uh, to compromete, como me dijo, teacher? Commit. Commit. To commit. To commit to don't to uh, arrive late. To not arrive. Right. Right. Not arrive. Not arrive, uh-huh. Not All arrive. Right. Uh, Late. Late. Uh, never again. <laughs> okay. Never again. I saw. <laughs> in my in my company. Yo queriendo la bajar. No no puedo. Sorry. Cuando teacher. I have a question. Okay. Uh, and the the answer um uh, debemos ordenarlas. Yes. Uh, yes. No, 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 no. No, 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 ahorita no estamos ahí en eso. Ah, solo practicando. No, tampoco. Ah. I 
suggested to discuss these questions. What happens if an employee in your company shows up late? And what do you do when you are sick and can work? Como que nos fuimos al final, I'm sorry. Ya queremos terminar, perdón. It's okay. Okay, so that's all you gotta do, discuss those two questions. Okay. Bye. Okay. Eh, sí, sí, lo comparte Werner. Please. Again? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, um, you want me to come? Do you have it? ¿Lo tienen o no? Yes, eh, está ahí arriba, el, el número uno, son los puntos que tenemos que responder y, y ya, ya, ya estábamos practicando. Ok. okay. Entonces, bájelo. Ya queremos terminar, perdón. What happened if an employee in your company shows up late? Um, Eh, ella tiene que hablar con su jefe. En inglés. I want to ask you what your boss when worker doesn't come to work. Ahorita. Are you guys finished or not yet? Not yet. Not yet? Nope. Okay, continue that. A little bit, just Manuel is going to answer the second. I am in my company, the permits must be requested in advance. In the absence is due to illness. It is single to present the insurance and disability with the doctor's stamp. Okay. <clears throat> Teacher, uh, we were talking that when when someone gets late, first gets a verbal warning, then a written warning, and if it continues, uh, the the company might discount el septimo. It's called here in El Salvador. I don't know how to say it. the seventh day. The seventh day of the week. Yeah. Okay. Seventh day of the week. Okay. Okay, we are ready now. Okay, good. I'll see you guys in the breakout room or in the main session. <laughs> okay, teacher. Hello, Wendy and Ricardo, are you there? Hello. <laughs> Una otra cosa, teacher, sorry, but. ¿Qué? <laughs> es que se enciende el micrófono, se apaga la cámara. Si enciendo la cámara, se apaga el micrófono. Pero, ¿qué, qué pasó? Um, no, no se metió el grupo. No, teacher, es que lo que pasa es de que estoy aquí adivinando qué es lo que le pasa a este volado. ¿Por qué no se sale y se vuelve a meter? O, o, sea, o, o, o mejor dicho, ¿por qué no reinicia el, 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 el celular? Mm. Eso le pregunta. Ah, vale, me voy a salir, teacher, entonces.
Okay. All right, guys. Um, all right, so everybody had the opportunity of talking to your classmates and discussing about what happens? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Great, yes, so let, let me get um, some people to share. Um, so tell me, Luis, at your workplace, what happens if somebody uh, shows up late? Okay, teacher. I was telling to my uh, classmate, in my area is uh, very flexible. There's oh. no problem if, if uh, someone uh, get uh, or show up to the office um, 50, 30 minutes late because it's, it's very usual. There is no problem. But if the people, yes, we are very flexible. But only with the administration employees. Yeah. Oh, okay. Who are the other employees? Especially in my area. Oh, in your area. Uh, the people who work at, at production. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's, it's like a culture in, in planning, I think so. <laughs> because we 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 try to compensate. What do you say? Compensate? Compensate. Normally, we work on uh, compensate the time you the, the people work until late, and we try they they have time to to do they 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 things no. Mm -hmm. So so Normally we we wait, work wait, almost wait, seven. Oh, sorry. Uh huh. Sorry. No, I'm just trying to figure yeah. it Normally, out. Normally, we... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Sorry, teacher. No, no, go ahead. Sorry, I, I interrupted you. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. And normally, we work until 6, 30, 30, every day. And the next day, we we get to the office at 8, 30, 9, because we, the last day, we work more hours than normal. Oh, okay. So you always make up yes. the time, right? In the end, yes. everybody, you make up the time. Yeah. Need oh. to work with the Luis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Something is no happy. <laughs> but it sounds reasonable. It sounds quite reasonable. Because um, you know, if you are working like overtime, right, and um, you know, and, and that happens quite often, you know, that then it kind of yeah. does sound a little bit reasonable. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Good. Um, all right. What about? Let me hear. Um, Juan Francisco, tell me what happens at your workplace when people show up late. Sorry, teacher. I don't hear. Sorry? Sorry, I don't hear, teacher. Oh, no, I'm asking you what yes. happens at your workplace when people show up late? Uh, um in my case is similar and with um no problem and we we be late in work um but um uh we try we try to be uh, early if because um we uh, the supervisor and to finish the uh, chit and uh, he he passed me information about the chit and the shift yes uh, and foul or como novedades que él haya tenido 
Donin, Donin chip. Uh, oh, okay. Uh -huh. We try be totally down the lake, um, but I I don't have problem in 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 case they they be late in what. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. So I call the boss, and in case they be late. Only that teacher. Oh, interesting. Wow. You got your guys' job is so flexible. Okay, wow. Is is everybody's job like that? I think I so el único explotado. <laughs> Why? Why is I that, Daniel? No, I kidding teacher. In my case is similar, but it's similar. Um, in my case we only need to inform white because um, I, I call to the manager or um, in, uh, um, I, sorry, I, se me fue. <laughs> este, you solamente, have to call the manager, uh -huh. uh, y solamente se informa. Y, uh, hi, I have a little problem because blah, blah, blah. Y eso como de, ah, it's okay, no problem. I come oh. late. Wow. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, all right. Uh, Warner, what happens at your workplace if somebody shows up late? In my case, teacher, um, I just call my boss uh, that uh, leave have the problem. And when I get there, I explain the situation. Oh, that's it. Hey, yes, no, 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 it's more problems. Wow. You guys have such flexible jobs. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay. Very, very flexible. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I can see that. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay. What about sick leaves, right? Or better said, when you're sick, what, what, what do you do when you are sick and you can't go to work? What happens? Almost the same. Just call. You just call. Okay. In my case, yes. I just call to my boss or send a, a WhatsApp message and that's it. And if, if I, I need to go to the clinic because we have an inside clinic, uh -huh. I go, I make my appointment and I go to the clinic and they, and they give me medicine. And if I, I have to stay at home two or three days, I just, I just let it, let, I just send to the, send the, the sick leave page of the Seguro Social to my boss that actually oh, that, that is part of the, the, yeah, the nurse do that part. Mm -hmm. I just call or send oh. a message and that's it. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Wow, so your 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 jobs, everybody's job sounds so so flexible. I'm very I'm very surprised because um, you know the majority of jobs are not like that. You know, so I'm I'm quite surprised, but that's good. That's good that that they are you know very reasonable people. That's 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 important, right? Um, you know, to feel good at, at at work. Okay, good. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to start practicing. Uh, the oh, so wait, wait, wait. Before we practice, uh, yeah. Uh huh. I have a question. Yeah. I forgot what is the English word for incapacidad, for example. Sickly. Sickly. Yes, yes. But, 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 incapacidad de, de que, de que no, um, de, like, like uh, you can't work for a certain period of time. But if you can't work at all, right, um, then that would be, uh, um, a disability. Okay? Si para nada puedo 
that would have it. It's just impossible. Then it would be a disability. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, before anything, we're going to take attendance again. Um, it's already 906. Incredible. Um, okay. So, um, Ana Claudia is not here. Okay. All right. Um, Andre Giovanni. Yeah. Andre Giovanni. Present teacher. Ah, okay. All right. Good. Edgar. Present teacher. Present teacher. All right. Fabiola. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Francisco. Present. All right. Heidi. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Irene. Present teacher. All right. Josue. Present teacher. All right. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Um, Carla. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Melissa. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Okay, great. Um, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Manuel de Jesus. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Excellent. Wendy. Present teacher. Excellent. Werner. Present teacher. Okay. Noemi. Present. Good. Yvonne. Present teacher. All right. Daniel. Present teacher. Excellent. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto. Marlene. And Ricardo. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Okay. Casi, casi llena. Excelente. Okay. All right. Um, so we're going to continue here with uh, our conversation. Sorry. Let me share this with you. Okay. So here we have our conversation. Oh, there is, there is Luis again. <laughs> okay, all right. So this is a conversation between Brad and Annie, okay? Este es el gemelo de, de ¿cómo se llamaba? De Ray, right? Ray. Mr. Ray. Sí, si, Mr. Ray, now it's not Mr. Brad. <laughs> so es el, es el gemelo. Okay, so anyway, um, so here we go. Um, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to ask two people to help me read, uh, between Brad and Annie. Who can help me do that? Me, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Me, teacher. So, uh, me, okay, I'm going to be Brad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <Well. laughs> <laughs> okay, hello, Carla, you can be Annie, and uh, Luis, you can be Luis. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, go for it. Okay. Hi, Annie, how is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I'm okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when... A uh, worker doesn't come to work. Oh, well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to the work today. 
I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, honey. All right, very good, bravo. Okay, excellent, guys. Um, can you guys hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, just making sure. I don't know, there's something. Que me da la impresión como que algo está. No, but everything's fine. Okay, good. All right, so um, good. Very, very good, guys. Thank you. So I have a question about, or better said, I want to know if you guys have questions about the pronunciation of the words. See you will explain the situation when worker doesn't. What's the pronunciation? Returns. Returns. Uh, this one. Uh -huh. This one, Carla? Yeah, returns. Returns. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Remember the rule that I told you before about um, words that finish in shun? So there you go, like words like notification, um, situation, um, only that I think. But anyways, you can see how the rule applies. It's very easy to be able to see how it's possible for the rule to apply. So look at notification. The stress is on the, on the K, notification. And this one also situation, stress is on the A, situation, right? Okay, anything else? Any other words you want to talk, um, discuss? No? Everything is clear? Okay. Show what? up. Show up to work today. Show up. Oops. Show up. Yeah, the, 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 the vocabulary is show up. show up. Show up. So we put these two words together, right? So it's not show up, it's show up. Show up. Show up. Show up. So, because I didn't show up to work. Okay, anything else? Okay, what about vocabulary? Any questions about the vocabulary? Okay, all right, in that case, Let's Teacher, practice. Yeah. Uh, please pronounce a uh, word warning. No. Okay, yes. Warning. 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 So it's not warning. Warning. No, it's war. War. Warning. Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. So so yes, I know this has an A, but the A, the sound is not an A, it, the sound is an O. It was warning. Whoa, oh, oh, warning. Cherry, in ese sentido, uh, one meaning show up to work. The meaning, the meaning of show up means arrive. Okay. Presentation, so arrive. right? Sorry? Show up means presentarse. No me presenté. Llegar, presentarse, algo así. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. uh, uh, so it means, uh, like, show up means to arrive, right? So because I didn't show up to work means I didn't arrive to work. O sea, si no, si no arribó, si no llegó, es porque mm -hmm. no se presentó. Mm -hmm. Anything else? No? Okay. 
So what I'm going to ask you to do is, one, you're going to, um, you're going to practice the conversation with your partner. Two, the other thing, excuse me, the other thing I want you guys to do is to unscramble the following sentences. So we have these sentences here. Receives notification, she arrives, the employee went up. You have your boss does work, what do to go doesn't a worker. And call I, my boss don't work if told to I show up. So we have these words here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna put these, these words in the correct order to make sentences that make sense, okay? So you have to put them in the correct order, okay? So that's two things you're gonna do with your partner right now. One, practice the conversation, right? So this conversation, okay? Second thing you're gonna do is you're going to be unscrambling the statements that we have here to make the sentences that make sense. Got it? Yes? Yes. Okay, good. So let me make the breakout rooms. Um, Just give me one second, guys. Just one more. Just one second. Okay. All right. I think I have everybody. Okay. So I'm going to open the room. And like I said, I'm going to give you a chance there to practice and to make the sentences. Okay, so here we go. Let's open up the rooms and let's join them. Wendy, ¿siempre se puede meter o ya no? When the when the employee arrives, she receives a notification. She receives a, no, a notification. Okay. Y la segunda todavía no. Let's practice the conversation. Excuse me. Did you practice the conversation? No, no, we didn't. No, no. So first practice the conversation and then complete the, the... Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. 
Brad Manuel. Okay. I'm Brad. You are Brad Manuel. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Manuel. <laughs> Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. Thanks. Luke, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when uh, Walker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And Thanks, Andres. And otra vez. Again. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, hello, Andres. I'm fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her. And when the person and then and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Bram? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, thank you. Again. Hi, hi, Andres, how is it going? Hello, Brad, I am fine, and you? I'm okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I... Simple pregunta. It's, it is not question. Es así, the employee... The employee... Uh, the employee, mm, no, receives, receives a notification when she arrives. Uh, uh. A notification. Uh huh. When she arrives, the employees arrives. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Y... El otro es pregunta, verdad? Es yes. la misma que está arriba, la que le hace the... Brad a Annie. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Es la que está en la segunda participación de Brad. The employee receives notification. A notification. When she is white. What does your boss? Um, Ah, yes. Uh, what do you? Did you guys practice the conversation? Yes, teacher. Yes, you change Twice. and you change roles, right? Yes. yes. For me, Brad, and then Annie. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. That's fine. What? Doesn't come. We can change the, the order. She receives a notification when employee arrives. Can be. Picture. Welcome. 
Can you help, help us, please? Uh, you can explain us uh, what about when and a knife. Sorry? Yeah, what about when and if? Uh, yes, we're going to be seeing that in a moment. Yes, right now I just, oh. yeah, I'm going to explain it to you, don't worry. But um, okay. uh, right now I just want you to try to figure it out from what makes sense, okay? Like kind of like deduce it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I in that, in that is crumble. Um, I don't know oh. what happened because uh, she arrived, but late, or she don't arrive. What happened? Why she received a notification? Huh? Is a resident in the first one. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> the sentences, <laughs> the sentences number one, in the right. scramble <laughs> was correct order. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. What is the question? O sea, no le encontramos lógica la oración a la primera. O sea, no entendemos. Explíquenos. Oh, oh, according to the, the, the conversation. Yeah. According to the conversation. Um. Give me a moment. Um, so remember that Brad asks, mm -hmm. what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Mm -hmm. And then he answers, when the person returns, right? Or returns from like to work, right? Or arrives at work, he or she receives a notification. So it's, it's coming from the conversation. So the person. Okay. Oh. But it's correct okay. when the employee arrives, she receives a notification. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Just, uh, we are right based on, on the conversation. Uh -huh. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah, okay. that, that's why I don't need to explain too much because you're just doing it based on what you see in the conversation. Okay. Okay. So you don't need you don't need a big explanation on when and if uh, right now. Just look at the conversation and that will guide you. Okay. okay. Done. <laughs> Next. Where was? Your boss does work. What do to, to go doesn't uh, work or uh, worker a worker? Okay, the um, worker. Wow. To work. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Lo que está incompleta. Ah, bueno, entonces así hablamos. La, what does your boss do? Le voy a mandar la captura. Ajá. Uh -huh. When a worker... What questions do you girls have? Agregaron. Hello, teacher. No. What questions eh, do you have? Es que tenemos una duda. Estamos ordenando... Uh, las oraciones, ¿verdad? Your, your order, your, your, yeah, uh -huh. I'm following the words, yes. Uh -huh. uh, but um, read the conversation. O sea, leímos la conversación, pero mi duda es, um, tenemos que completar las oraciones, pero en base a la conversación. O solo yeah. ordenarla. Yeah. Ya. Ah, yeah. Ok. Uh -huh. 
Ajá. Ok, es que yo, yo no la vi ni que entró porque yo estoy viendo la oración, allá la tengo. Ah, <ríe> no la he compartido, no la voy a compartir aquí mejor para estar um, acá. Ok, ahora sí. Entonces sería, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't? Does come to work. Come to work. Mm -hmm. Y la número tres es... I call to my boss if I shop to work late. To work. Mm -hmm. I call to. I call to my boss. I don't show, show up. If I show up to work late. Sorry, teacher. Any questions? No, no, no. Thank you. Okay. La número uno la revisamos, Fabi. When the employee arrives. She receives a notification. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. Sí, sí, así la tengo. One employee arrives, she receives a notification. You guys are okay? Todos tenemos más o menos. How, what, what's the problem? Mm. Para hacer las oraciones, teacher. In English, what, what, what's the problem? Huh? I I don't know. Ordenar, teacher. How do you say ordenar? Order. Uh, I don't know. Order the sentence. How? Uh-huh. Okay, just do it what sounds logical, okay? Do it from what sounds logical and using the, the, um, the conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh -huh, see. Well, You, you need more time? 
No, teacher. No? Ya lo tienen, ya está, ya está todo. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. I'll see you in the in. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah, okay. Yes, teacher. Everybody was able to unscramble? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, let's uh, share and you guys are gonna help me to complete this. This is according to the conversation, okay? Okay, so. First one, um, okay, let's do the first one. Mm. Okay, um, let's have Daniel. Can you help me, Daniel? Number one. Number one. Um... I don't, I don't see, sorry, please give me a moment. Okay. Um, Jane, Jane Ployet received a notification when she arrived. Okay, the employee receives a notification when she arrives. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, like that, right? Vamos? Give me a second. Change. Okay, all right. Okay, good. Let's continue with the next one. Um, number, oops, number two. Let me see, let me have um, Edgar. Could you help me with number two, Edgar? Um, what, what does your boss Huh? Do do a uh, worker. What does your boss do? Mm -hmm. Do uh, a worker doesn't. Like that? Yeah, worker doesn't. And question mark. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, your boss do a worker doesn't. Like that? Boston. Yeah. What uh, does your boss? Are you sure there's do a worker? Doesn't 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 to work. Sorry, doesn't to work. In that sentence, uh, is there a need missing? Okay. Yeah, there, there's a missing word. Yeah, there is a missing word. Yeah, there is a missing word. Yeah, when. Yeah. When. Yeah. Yes. What does your boss or when? Do? 
if when a worker doesn't. What does your boss do if a worker doesn't go to work? If the word is said. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I didn't notice. That. So, you want to you want to complete the system? Uh, doesn't doesn't uh, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Yeah, to work. He works. Worker to to work to to work doesn't to work. If a worker doesn't to work, yeah, to work to work doesn't to work. Okay, doesn't to work. All right. What about the um? Oh, what about the word go? Doesn't go to work. Doesn't go to work. Go. Ah, sorry. Um, Where do we put go? What does doesn't doesn't uh, what does your boss do? A work a work worker doesn't go go to work go to work go to work. Yeah. Okay. And what about the word if? Where do we put the word if? Mm. Teacher. Yeah? In the conversation, you have a, a question very similar to the question in the exercise. Right. And, and the conversation is when, not if. Yeah, it, it, it's the last, the last sentence. Oh, okay. okay. In the in the second participation of Brad. Okay. Yes, the missing is when. Okay, so let's use when then. Where where are you going to put the word when? I I guess we can use the two word if and when. Am I right? Okay, but where the question is, where are you going to put it? Next to do. What does your boss do, do when a worker doesn't go to work? Like this. When? Yeah, like that, guys? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Right, good. Okay, next. Um, let's have, um, let's say, um, Marvin, help me with, no, with number three, Marvin. Okay, teacher. I call my boss if I don't show, show up to work. I call my boss if I don't show up to work. I don't show up to work like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right, guys, do you agree with this or do you guys think um, there that we need to change something? Teacher, in the first, I, I did a different one. I started with the words when, for example, when the employee arrives, she receives a notification. Is that correct? Okay, okay, that's a very valid question. And I would say, give me a moment. Yeah. Sorry, guys, me, 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 um, mi teclado se ha desconfigurado. I can't find where. Let me just try to figure out a dónde está este símbolo que quiero. Ya llegaré a él. 
Hold on. Ah, okay, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, Carla said, what was that? Could you repeat that, Carla? No, it was me, Melissa. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so you put, I, I, was, I, I was asking to you if I can use when in the uh -huh. beginning of, of the sentence, when the employee arrives, she receives a notification. And when an employee arrives, she receives, she receives a notification. I just realized I wrote it wrong here. Let's see. Okay. Like this, right? That's how you wrote it? Yeah. And you're absolutely right. Yes. Both answers are possible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's possible. Okay. Um, so yes, the this answer is correct. Okay. And this one? Any, any change? Would, would you add anything else? No? Okay, yes, it's also correct. What about this one? Um, I, I scramble if I don't show up to work, I call my boss. Okay, yes. That is also another possibility. So you say, um, if I don't show up to work, I call my boss. Okay, that's also another possibility. Okay, all right. Any questions so far? No, teacher, teacher yeah. uh, that's what we're going to be looking at in the next slide okay so right now these are the sentences according to the uh, according to the the conversation that we just looked at this is what makes sense okay so you, i really didn't need to explain very much to make these sentences because you can see the example in the um in the conversation however i i am going to explain when and if okay so don't don't panic okay i'm going to explain right now um okay all right so if and when clauses okay if and when clauses so what's an if and when clause? Let's read a little bit about this. I'm gonna need a volunteer just to read the first part right here. Who can help me with that? Anybody? Me teacher. Me teacher. Ladies first. <laughs> okay, so let me know what was the lady who went first. Oh, Wendy. Wendy, Wendy. I am, I am a lady. <laughs> yes, you are the lady. You're right. Okay, go for it, Wendy. Okay. When and if have similar meaning. We use when for usual situation and if for unusual situation. But clauses have to be a simple present, use a comma, when, if, or when, come at the beginning. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Wendy. Exactly. So remember that in the last exercise, I said that there are two possibilities, right? Um, in, for except for number one and number three, we gave two possible answers, and I said that both of them were okay, right? You could use both answers. Why? because when and if have similar meanings and 
we can use, it's possible to use when or if at the beginning or when and if in the middle. Okay, so it's the, those are things that they have in common. So if and when are very positive, possible, they, they are you know, almost interchangeable. And you can put when or if at the beginning or in the, in the middle. So both are possible. Now, what's the difference? That, that, those are the similarities. What are the differences? The difference is when is used when it's a usual situation, something that could easily happen. Okay, it's like an everyday situation. And if is more for like unusual situations, things that don't happen every day. So when is for something that yes, it can happen any day of the year, any moment. If is more, it's more of a situation that uh, it's possible to happen, but it doesn't happen every day. It's something that would rarely happen. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, so let me just underline that so you guys understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so when is for usual situations, right? And if is for unusual situations. Okay. Now, something that is important is for you to remember that both clauses have, use the simple present. Okay. So we're always going to be using the simple present in the sentences. Not simple past. Not present progressive, not uh, the future. It's always going to be simple present. Okay. Now, like I said before, it is possible to put if or when at the beginning or if and when in the middle. Now, if and when is a connector. What is when in Spanish? Cuando. Cuando. Exactly. Cuando. And what is if in Spanish? Si, con si. Si, si, no de este, no, pero si de condicional. Si hago esto, esto es lo que pasa. Okay? Now, um, the thing is that when you are using when or if in the middle of the sentence, it, it's a connector, the connector between the two ideas. Right? So you say, for example, um, I call my boss if I, if I am late. I call my boss if I'm late. So the if is connecting. Call my boss, be late. It's connecting the two ideas. Um, I can also say, um, my boss gets angry when people um, when people don't call in sick. My boss gets angry when people call in when people don't call in sick. So we have uh, my boss gets angry is one idea. People don't call in sick is the second idea. And it's connected with the word when. So it's a connector. Okay, does that make sense? See? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. But if the word, valga la redundancia, if the word if or when is at the beginning of the sentence, then it's no longer a connector, or, or, or better said, it's, no, it's not connecting the two ideas because it's at the beginning. See? In that case, to connect the two ideas, we need to use a, we need to use a comma. 
to connect the two ideas when, if or when is at the beginning. Okay, so since if and when, which is a connector is at the beginning, it's not connecting the two ideas. So you are going to have to use the comma to connect. Okay. All right, examples. I need a volunteer to help me read the examples. Me teacher. Okay, go for it Marvin. What do you do when you forget your tools for work? All teaching? Yeah, everything, please. I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools. When I forget my tools, I ask for a backup set. What do you do if you miss the company transportation? I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation. If I miss the company transportation, I call a taxi. Okay, very good. Okay, so do you see that we have two ideas that are being connected? Okay, so the two ideas are, what do you do? Second idea, you forget your tools for work. So this one, first idea, I ask for a backup set, I forget my tools. Next idea, when I forget my tools, I'm oh, sorry, um, I forget my tools, I ask for a backup set. This one, what do you do? You miss the company transportation. I call a taxi is the first idea. Second idea, I miss the company transportation. Next idea, I miss the company transportation. I call a taxi. So we, have, we are connecting two ideas. How do you connect them? You connect them using a connector when The connector when I sorry. The connector when okay. or if. Okay. So you notice you can put the when in the middle and the if in the middle, or you could put when or if at the beginning. But if it's at the beginning then you notice there is no connection. Therefore, you have to use the comma. Yeah, it's that. There's a comma. Okay? Estamos? Yes, no, maybe? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Right. Please, please ask me if, if, if something is not clear. Si hay algo que no, no, no les está haciendo clic, que no lo entienden, que están así como bien perdidos y esto que es, please ask. It's okay? It's okay. Teacher, the, the use, the when, and if is similar in Spanish. Right, exactly. Absolutely, you're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and I'm going to give you some more examples just so that you can see what this looks like. Some examples are, if Bill phones, tell him to meet me at the cinema, right? Now, since this is not a very, you're, it's, not an, it's not a usual situation, it's more unusual, you would probably use more the word if. Okay. If you use the word when, it's like you're sure it's going to happen. Ice melts when you heat it, right? Ice 
melts when you heat it. Cuando le pone calor. It melts. Okay? Teacher. Yes. yes. But who is going to determine what is uh, usual and not so usual? The person that is explaining. Yeah. Yeah. But, because what it can be usual for me, it can not be usual for you. By usual, I mean something that um, that it's like always that situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And um, unusual is something that is that is a possibility, but it doesn't happen very often. Es raro que pasa. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. But like, like, like I said, like the sentence says over here, and they're absolutely right about this, is that when, when and if have similar meanings. So it's almost interchangeable. You can almost use it the same. Okay. All right. Uh, more examples. If you want to come, call me before five. Okay, if you want to come, if that's a possibility, call me before five. When my husband has a cold, I usually catch it. So it means that's like, that's almost all the time, right? So it's huge, that's very usual. So that's why we use when, right? Because that's a very usual situation. When my, my husband has a cold, it's very usual that I get uh oh, let me, I don't know you can't probably read that one so okay sorry guys let me Meet me here if we get separated. In case, in the case that we get separated, meet me here. Okay? Plants die if they don't get enough water. Right? Now, most of the time, plants do get enough water because um, either somebody gives them a water or it rains. So they usually get enough water. But this is something that, that um, so you, you could say plants die when they don't get enough water, that's fine too. When it rains, the grass gets wet, okay? So every time the grass, the, the, that it rains, the grass gets wet. If public transport is efficient, people stop using their cars, okay? So that's kind of like, you know, a situation that is not very common, but it's something that could happen. In all of them, you probably noticed that um, there are moments where you start with, with when, when if is in the middle, and there are moments when if or when is, is at the beginning. Here it's at the beginning, here it's in the middle, here it's in the middle, here at the beginning, here at the beginning, here it's in the middle, here it's um, in the middle, here it's at the beginning, here it's at the beginning. So you can see you can put it in different places. Just make sure that if you put it in a different place, you, you put it, sorry, if you put it at the beginning, like here, you're gonna put the comma, okay, like that. Okay, got it guys? Yes, no? Yes. Estamos, no estamos? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Sure. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so it's, so everything is absolutely clear, like the theory, right? Because we haven't been able to practice very much. And actually that's what your homework is gonna be, okay? So your homework um, 
tienen que hacer dos cosas de tarea. La primera cosa es, tienen que terminar la plataforma. Eh, ah, ¿Cuál es tu correo para ver Netflix? Um, tienen que ter terminar la tarea, pero las tareas y la, y la plataforma. Y también deben de um, com, um, tratar de completar cuanto se pueda del final exam. Prácticamente ya hemos visto todos los, los temas que necesitan para el final exam. Así es que si ustedes pueden hacerlo este fin de semana, mucho que mejor, aunque sí tienen, um, tienen hasta el martes, ¿verdad? Para terminarlo, pero yo diría que mejor no se atengan, ¿verdad? Y, y mejor hagan nuestro fin de semana. Y si quieren, pues el, el lunes que no tenemos clase, ¿verdad? Pueden también hacerlo, ¿verdad? Pero sí debe ser completo para el martes eh, al, a la medianoche. Entonces, por favor, por favor, um, ahí completen eso. And the other thing that is for going to be for homework is this part. I need you to write a short paragraph about policies and procedures at your workplace. Use if and when to join clauses. Okay? So you're going to write a short paragraph using if and when. Got it? Yes, teacher. Teacher. Yes. Are, are we going to complete the encuesta? On, on Tuesday. Okay, perfect. How do, you say, how do you say Survey? Survey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so Friday, sorry, um, Tuesday is our last class together because remember, Monday we don't have class, right? So Tuesday will be our last class, our, our 20th class. And part of the activity that, that Insafor asks us to do is to complete the, the survey, right? So that, eso es una cosa que tiene que quedar grabada, ¿verdad? Para que Insafor lo pueda ver, ¿verdad? Que si lo hicimos en clase. Y así también les puede ayudar si hay alguna pregunta que tengan para que no lo hagamos incorrectamente, okay? Any questions, guys? No, teacher. Is all clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good, good. Okay. Bueno, entonces en ese caso, chicos, um, ya um, podemos hacer el último eh, assist, uh, attendance. Ana Claudia. Andrés. Present teacher. Edgar. Present teacher. Elsie, Janet. Present teacher. Francisco. Present. Fabiola. Present teacher. Katie. Present teacher. Irene. Present. Josué. Present. Carla. Present teacher. Melissa. Present teacher. Eh, Luis. Present teacher. Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Manuel de Jesús. Present. Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Warner. Present teacher. Noemi. Present. Yvonne. Present. Daniel. Present teacher. Jorge. Marlene. Ricardo. Present teacher. Perfect. Ok, bueno, entonces en este caso, chicos, ya está. Eh, asegúrense de completar la, 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 el, ¿cómo se llama? La plataforma. And that's it. Ok. Take care, guys. See you on. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Happy Mother's Day. Good night, teacher. Good night. Happy Mother's Day. Good night, everybody. Thanks. Noemi, 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 stop for me. <laughs>
Sí, ok. Uh, le toca ahora a no, mí, no sé si se iba a quedar. Yes. Ok, perfecto. All right, se me olvidó decir. Teacher, <laughs> present. No le dije. Juan Francisco dijo present. <laughs> en serio, no le dije. I'm sorry. Quiero ver. No, pero. Quiero ver, ya voy a ver. Juan Francisco. No problem, Juan Francisco, no problem. You are my friend, man. Eh? <laughs> so okay. nice, everybody. I'm so sorry. See okay, see you. Enjoy your long weekend. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Ay, no, qué pena. <laughs> okay, Naomi, cuénteme, ¿qué le, ¿en qué le puedo ayudar? Solo quiero que me explique el uso del allow o allow what el, Perdón, el no permitido. Perdón. El uso del allow o allow it, no sé. Qué. Oh, okay. Allow to, it means give permission. Okay. You give permission. Okay. So, um, eh, ok, voy a compartir esto. Puede ver mi power, mi, um, ¿cómo se llama? Mi Word, Word document. ¿Lo logra ver? Ok. Ok, entonces, um, está bien grande para que pueda ver, lo puedo hacer. Okay. Allowed. Allowed to. Allowed to means um, have permission. Ok. And so what we do is we say, for example, okay. Um, so we say, uh, um, I, I, you, he, she, it. Um, okay, so we have I, you, we, we, you, and they. Okay, so um, so here are the here are the um, the subjects. So when you say okay, when you say allowed to for I, you have to say I'm allowed to. Wait. So you say am. Am allowed to. You say I am allowed to, and then we use the verb. The verb in the base form. Okay. And the same thing with it, you, right? The, with you, you're going to be using are allowed to. 
and then the verb. Okay, and then with he, with he, you're going to say is allowed to. It's the verb, okay? And the same thing with, with uh, she, it, they. Okay, and then here, this is gonna be the same with, this is gonna be the same with we, you and they. Okay. Ahí está. Yeah. Entonces, eh, what you're saying is if you say, I am allowed to, and then you use the verb in the base form. So, for example, you say, this is just an, uh, an example, right? So, um, you say, I. I am allowed to um, to work in jeans. Okay, I am allowed to work in jeans. So what it means is I have permission to work in jeans. Yeah. Yeah. Vamos. Okay. Uh, if you're going to use, if you're going to use, um, tengo permiso para trabajar en jeans. Exactly, tengo permiso. O se me es permitido. Okay, uh, or you can say, for example, you, you are allowed to um, uh, wait to, you're allowed to um, miss work. Um, one day a month. You are allowed to miss one day, one day, one, sorry, you are allowed to miss work one day a month. You're allowed to work, allowed to miss means um, the, se te es permitido uh, perder un día de trabajo al mes. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah? And the same thing like with, uh, with, for example, he. Okay, so we can say he is allowed to, um, he is allowed to uh, eat um, eat um, No, he is allowed to chew gum. Okay. Chew gum? You don't understand chew gum? Ah. Mascar, mascar. Mascar chico. Mascar, um, goma de mascar? Goma de mascar. Mm -hmm. So, mascar chico, right? So, he is, so, eh, él tiene permiso o, o, o se le es permitido? Um, mascar chicle in el trabajo. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Just, you just have to be careful because, um, 
the verb the the verb has to be in the base form of the verb okay that's that's what's very very important with this one that the the verb has to be in the form. so chew is in the base form or this okay okay noemi okay thank you very much i understand okay perfect any other questions no and any okay perfect okay well that's it then that's it noemi thank, thank you teacher you're welcome take care then all right thank you good night good night bye 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 bye